Now, there hasn't been one in Britain this century, and the next is not for another 11 years. But tomorrow morning, if you're lucky, you may be able to glimpse a partial eclipse of the sun. But be careful how you view it. Here's our science editor, Tom Clark, with a few tips. On the Faroe Islands, they're praying for a break in the cloud. And by the looks of the gift shop, you'd think they were praying to the sun itself. This is our 10th total eclipse. Um, love to watch them. And uh, being able to look at the corona with your eyes in the middle of the eclipse is really an exciting moment. These tiny Atlantic islands and Svalbard in the Arctic Circle are the only land masses that will see a total solar eclipse tomorrow. And thousands of eclipse chasers have forked out to be here. We understand that it's going to be... Um, very small very chance. Sp yes, very small chance. We expect it to be cloudy. And so we don't expect to see it as a full eclipse. There's like everybody on our ship, and there's 400 of us, has come specifically to see the eclipse. Eclipses have a strange effect on people. Once upon a time there was light in my life. This was the total eclipse of 1999. Largely ruined by cloud. But the moment of totality plunged the south of England into cold, eerie silence. Even the Pope had a pop at viewing it. This will be the first celestial event in the age of the selfie, prompting the College of Optometrists to warn us of the risks of filming ourselves while viewing the eclipse. Although that advice may be targeted more at people silly enough to use one of these things. That said, looking at an eclipse with the naked eye, especially with a telescope or binoculars, is a very bad idea. It's the infrared radiation from the sun that heats up the retina and fries it. Just like a magnifying glass on a bit of paper in the playground can burn a bit of paper, that's what the sun is doing when it's focused by your lens onto your retina. Real experts prepare by rummaging through their kitchen cupboards. You can use a pinhole camera like this. This is a cereal box <laughs> with a hole in the side. Yep. Uh, you hold it towards like the sign, yep. the, towards the sun, and that way you're looking away from the sun anyway. And through the hole, you'll see a projected image of the sun. I'm holding a colander as well, why is that? You can do exactly the same with this. Again, um, in this case, you'd want, say, a light background, like yeah. a white sheet or a white card or something behind it. And you should see a lot of pinholes, a lot of um, crescent suns as the eclipse progresses, particularly if you're further north. If you live in the south, the action starts just before 8.30. And by half past nine, 85% of the sun will be covered by the moon. By about the same time, in the Midlands and Wales, the sun will be 90% covered. Across Northern Ireland and Southern Scotland, it's a 95% eclipse with Edinburgh's magic moment at 9.35 a.m. And it's best up north with just 2% of the sun's disk visible from the Shetland Islands at about 9.43. Perhaps the best and safest way to see the sun tomorrow is to go to an organised event. And make the most of it, there's not another eclipse this good until 2026.